A lot of friends on the Hill uh, in the House who say, listen, we, we're not, we've already raised taxes. We've already cut defense. We're not going to lead with our, he our face and say, hey, yeah, we're going we're gonna to close loopholes uh, unless we get a big buy-in from the president on a massive long-term debt relief bill. Is that, is that about where you are right now? Well, when you look at what's happened over the last couple of months, the president's received his tax increases. Uh, he received those at the beginning of the year, said that's what he needed to fix the problem, and now he's asking for more. And then uh, last week in our conference meeting, the president recognized that the entitlement uh, programs have to be reformed and modernized. He, and he's, saved. He, said, he actually he did. admitted that in but the But then conditionally, he said, but that will not happen within the absence of additional revenue. So help me make that connection. Why do you need additional revenue to fix the programs for the future of our, our I, I think, for the, I, I I think for the, pre our, the president's in the same position that I think we Republicans are. We can't go back to our base and say we're closing tax loopholes unless we can go back and say we got massive entitlement reform and he can't go back to his right. base and say, I cut entitlements, but I didn't get more tax increases for it. But, but if you recognize you have a problem, so in essence, you're saying to a senior uh, now or somebody who's going to be a senior soon, say you're 57, 58 years old, you know the program, program is on a, a path of insolvency and bankruptcy, you're saying, I'm not going to fix it unless I get additional taxes from the American people. The American people have paid enough to this big government. But this is about closing loopholes. It's not about the American people, right? Well, loopholes. Think about how he approaches closing loopholes. I want to close loopholes so that I can fund my additional spending. Republicans say, look, let's clean out the tax code. If we're going to close loopholes, let's pass that savings to the American people. So it does impact the American people.